Radio V. Radio in TV. Radio in TV. My obsession. I'm obsessed with her. Woo. I love her. Well, welcome everybody to <laughs> T Radio V Politically Naughty with Mary Carey, the beginning of the broadcast day. Yay. I haven't said that in a while uh, here at T Radio V, which I, I always think and is we're a having very, a threesome today. Yes, yes. <laughs> Wish oh, yeah. every day was Monday. <laughs> Dave, Dave, you're having a threesome today. Yeah. <laughs> Yum. Just another day for me. Yeah. <laughs> we got, we got, he wishes. We, yeah. <laughs> In my head, it's just another day. <laughs> Um, uh, but we got Jessica here, and Jessica uh, is co We're having a threesome co-hosting. It's our yes. first time starting the show with the three of us. Yeah, yeah. And I, it feels right at home. Yeah, it, does. I know. it feels I love right it. at right at home. But I gotta say, now I we we haven't seen each other. I haven't seen yeah. you. I know we. I I know Mario saw you in the hallway. Yeah. Yeah. I have not seen you, God, since... S- so are you avoiding me? Or no, what's going on? No, I'm not on? avoiding you. I'm trying to think what I've been doing. <laughs> what's the I, deal? What was I doing last week? I don't even think I was doing anything that exciting. Well, we'll have to, we'll have no, to catch up. I feel like up. I was like in the gym and like running errands. Yeah. Every time I, I talked to her, she was in the gym. She's right. like, oh, I was, let's do it. I'm trying to get my butt bigger. Well, you know. <laughs> Gosh darn it. I'm like, I'm like trying to get bigger. I've been like climbing the stairs. I've been doing like step ups and squats. I just want my butt to get bigger. Well, I think without I Without doing see surgery. You. I think I did see you coming home from somewhere. and Probably I. The gym, no. Yeah, and I thought I thought it the was because you were you were like right behind me. I was in oh. my car, and then and, and then I never noticed people. Yeah. I'm very bad. I'm a little, little oblivious on the road. Jessica's <laughs> been in the car with me. But you guys live near that big lake still, right? In yes, that the big building. lake. Just, you know, you've yes. never been in the car when I drive. Big she lake. has. I'm yeah. kind of an oblivious driver, so, which is kind of scary. So, but then you, <laughs> but then you kept you you kept going straight. You didn't. I mean, you must have been doing like another errand or something like I don't that because I, I didn't turned off. See you. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I have a very. I think Mary's a great driver. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You don't I'm have not to just say saying that because she's sitting next you don't, to me. Now. I know I'm not a good driver. But uh, but this having Jessica here was a little bit of a surprise for me. Oh, I didn't. I wasn't. You didn't know. No, I didn't I know. I mean, you. a very very pleasant surprise. Yes. But uh, how do we want to start the show? Because um, you know what? Because Jessica's only here for the first half hour. Okay. Um, and then we do have Katie Loman. Yes. So this is yes. her second time here. I'm yes. very she excited. Looks amazing. And I she know looks she has a surprise oh for him. We won't tell him. I, yes. But the big change. Yes. In Katie I saw oh my her goodness. walking in, and I was like, "Oh my god, Katie, you look wow. phenomenal." She looks, but we can't tell everyone what is and, different. Yes. But she looks hot. And she's rocking that outfit. And for everyone, hard. Katie Loman is Playboy Playmate, mm-hmm. 2002, mm-hmm. and Man. she's on LA Shrinks. So, okay. tons of modeling. But yeah, she looks amazing, doesn't yeah. she? Oh, yeah. So, so, she'll be joining us next segment. We, we've only got Jessica for a few minutes. Yeah, so, so before we, w- we get into the politics, we should probably talk about... We want to get down and dirty here. Yes. <laughs> yes. So... Um, well, I guess we should want to show one of your KTLA clips before we tell everyone what happened. Sure. Okay. Let's show one of Jessica's KTLA clips yeah. that we have. Um, since you guys the jewelry oh. today is by Zagani. Mm-hmm. And look at really beautiful, semi precious oh. and oh, that's Marcellus. Look at that's that's Marcellus really who has been way. on Politically yes, Naughty. She was on two weeks ago. Yeah. That, look how amazing she looks. And and look uh, at that. This is a makeover really they did to us on KTLA. A makeover yeah. for Jessica. Oh my God, look at Marcellus. Right, kids were wrong with a little black dress. Matthew, what about Jessica's hair? Oh, and now they're going to talk about my hair. Yes. Like a little wave in there just to give it a little It looks the same as it always looks. Yeah, which is amazing. It makes me yes. feel good about the way um, I do my own hair. Nice. I must be on point. You, you know? can't uh, improve on perfection. Lips, you know, just yeah. for a, so a, basically a, a, what's a about to happen is I'm going to do my little okay, spiel Jessica, about Hyundai. Okay, Jessica, this question's Hyundai. for you. Okay, Tell us about Hyundai and innovation. Let's see. Thank you, guys. At Hyundai, we believe in innovation, even in our paint jobs. We dip all of our cars in an e-coat bath that protects from corrosion and gives 100% coverage. We even have an elastic chemical compound called Scratch Recovery Clear that helps scratches heal all on their own. 
There yeah, you go. So I don't know why, but that yes. felt really Finally. sexy. Perfect, yes. Jessica, I don't know why. I felt like that was kind of so, sexy and dirty. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was thinking was of like you, Mary, but, but really, really I was just... From Macy's. I would like to get dipped by Jessica. That sounded really <laughs> sexy. You know, everybody else got to be like, and I love the new Hyundai Santa Fe and blah, blah, blah. And then they throw this, oh, talk about this chemical compound right. and this bath that you're going to dip it in with, to prevent <laughs> corrosion and all this stuff. And I'm like... What? Okay. <laughs> like no. Like just memorize it. And I had like an hour. I'm like, this is cool. This oh, is you fun. had to memorize it? Yeah, that. They was didn't. Memorized. I thought you were reading oh, a teleprompter. No. no, I was like, don't we need a you teleprompter? Kidding? This is live news, so I was sure. Like, oh, you know, it's oh, gonna be on a teleprompter. Oh my god, that was memorized. Just no, now? that was just. That's why it sounded all like I'm a robot because oh, I've no. had this for 20 no. minutes. No, are you? I can't believe that was memorized. Yeah. I would have sucked. The, it was it was a trip. Yeah, that, that was, was really but, good. Thank you. But we have to say but, now uh, what what she's here for. It wasn't good enough to win mm. because I lost. Which I say rigged. I say I scam. That, I say. That, but it was I think my first tweet this morning. My first tweet I sent out this morning <laughs> was like I call bullshit. So. I was gonna say the the Midwesterners will go bullshit. That's, that was the yeah. first thing I said this morning. Exactly. I was, was really bullshit. disappointed. I was you know, really disappointed. And I gotta say, so so Jessica comes in, and first off, I was surprised to see her. I didn't know she was gonna I, I be here. No, you, you just, just no, I no just okay. Well, that um, was my fault. No, that's okay. Uh, so she's but here no, every week that right. she's available. It's no, it's I yeah. I hope so. And I I was like oh and you know <laughs> good to see you and yeah. you know and and i could tell something was wrong okay. with jessica and i'm like I, so should i ask Sh- shouldn't i and i was she for the first time she wasn't like her perky so you weren't on twitter happy, today then I no guess. no no <laughs> okay her perky happy self and i i started like getting like misty eyed because did. i was so like sweet. oh my god jessica this is the first time i've ever seen her like this and it was oh, now upsetting to me yeah you're gonna make me cry. Don't <laughs> well it, you know it was part that it was oh. part that not only like i don't it's fine that i didn't win yeah but there are people like posting that they're glad i lost and that made me feel bad well that's part of the territory I that's know. part of the it's territory really and, and i think people are jealous of her yes you know and, what i mean don't think so. and it's yes, gonna they are jessica it well, just it just means there's something bigger and better People Down who the take the time, to, in my opinion, someone who takes the time to write mean comments online is someone who's, I mean, unless you're like, unless someone's writing mean comments about like a murder or something, but <laughs> right. someone who takes time to write mean comments about like, like someone like Jessica or something, that's someone who's like jealous or something. And, you know what and, I mean? And, like, and not happy with their own lives. Not happy with their own lives. Yeah. Like, that's some like 400 pound yeah. mean person who sits at home and eats ice cream all day mm. who's like, I don't like that pretty blonde girl, yeah. you know, like. I want to sit home and eat ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> and, and just watch the KTLA. And that person voted like 80 billion times with 20 different fake emails right, for right, the guy. Right, yeah. Yeah. She lost to the guy, which is pretty crazy because yeah. he was the only guy in the competition. Right. So, you know, when I was thinking about it, you know, a lot of the people who probably were sitting at home watching KTLA were a lot of women who are housewives with like, sure. you know, all their children. So they're probably the ones who voted and they're going to vote for the boy because they're like, oh, he's cute. Let's sure. vote for the boy. I don't like the pretty blonde girl because... She reminds I'm really me of overweight with my 80 children right now, <laughs> so I don't like the skinny blonde girl. But you know, in 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 all honesty, I really liked everybody that was that I that were the finalists. Like mm-hmm. they were all really cool and they were all really different. Were they really nice? They were think? all really nice, and yeah. I liked that they were all different. But you're you know really I mean? nice too. So like, I, and so I thought like KTLA and Hyundai did a really good job of yeah. picking the finalists. Mm. I thought it was all people that you know you would love to see represent your brand. Everybody yeah. was positive. Everybody was nice to each other. I'm so used to reality TV where everybody yeah. just throws stuff at each other. <laughs> and screams and tries to make out with each other's boyfriend like this was great now did everyone (laughs) memorize their lines that they had to yes they all knew them yes really did everyone now the makeovers your makeover basically they you i mean you would that's something you would normally wear that your hair was how you normally wear it so they didn't really make you over they just they just did it your was hair fun make- to get they to basically did your, up, they did your hair and makeup yeah. yeah they did your hair and makeup and put you in new wardrobe is basically which was fine now were the other girls were they more drastic would you say of a change you know, uh, a little bit. Like, sometimes they would try to, like, do something totally different with their hair mm. and things like that. Right. But they all just looked beautiful. I mean, it was really nice. It, you know, it was a fun week. I had a great time. Mm. Yeah. I'm happy I did it. I totally loved being there. I mean, I was, I could not have been happier the whole time. The only part that I wasn't happy about was that I lost, but only because I want to, because I want to win. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. you're like, like me. Everyone, you're, but, it's like you're going to be competitive. But the experience was awesome. And does this mean Mary and I are out of the running for the Hyundai? I know. Did I not win now? I guess I didn't I have the know, Hyundai. Did you, did you vote for um, for the guy as well? No. If you did, I did not vote for the no. guy. But no. Then you're out, guys. I'm and sorry. I actually that's voted right. twice a day because I voted because I voted for Miss Mary Care. I voted for my Miss Mary Care. Well, I voted for my super email. Yeah. So. yeah. Jessica's like, 
That's Shut up, sense. jackass. I lost. Well, well you know, <laughs> Mary didn't need a new car anyway because hers is banging. No, yeah. I need a new one, though. <laughs> Just a new windshield. <laughs> a new windshield. I do need a new windshield. <laughs> yeah, that'll be fixed. But it was that'll all good. Fixed. And thank you guys for supporting me on this of road. Course. And we have another Jessica so clip coming up in the next segment, yeah. which I can't wait to see. So I, you know. And and you're, we're always here for oh, you, Oh, and you got to meet Marcella. So how and was that I, exactly? I totally loved Marcella. He's oh, yeah? so cool. He is awesome. Like He's so much fun, and he's so down to earth, but he's got this like cool vibe to him, you know? what i mean mm-hmm. that you're just like i want to hang out with you like let's just be friends we have to have let's, him back with you here totally i know i i was so bummed that i missed getting to meet him because right. i would have liked to have that rapport already like remember that one time when we were on that thing together <laughs> 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 no you don't remember because i wasn't there it never happened. i know but, <laughs> but it should you have. weren't here that yeah, day yeah exactly mm. so <laughs> <laughs> you guys left me that day and i had to struggle on the couch Ooh, alone what can we do we're you so left me. sorry we're so it's sorry okay, both we'll of make you. it up to you I know. I'll have to you do know, the couches we again. Know, you know we're good We need for a threesome it. on the couch. Yes, there we with go. You guys. can't just have it anywhere you want it. Mary. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think this is? Not even the great Mary okay, Carey. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it's your show. A little, talk a little bit Should politics. Should we mention the governor who's awesome? <laughs> governor, awesome. Not governor, mayor. What am I thinking? <laughs> yeah, mayor, mayor McCrack. Mayor yeah, McCrack. Yes, oh, yes I, I like calling him that. <laughs> well, I, he Mc... doesn't seem to have a problem with it. No, I, he, he was doesn't. like He was pushing bobbleheads. I saw that on the news sometimes. Now. Yeah. Did you see the SNL sketch? No, no. Oh I heard he was very supportive of it, though. It was hilarious. It was yeah. so funny. A drug dealer, came, he was doing a press conference, and a drug dealer comes in in the middle and is like trying to sell him drugs under the conference table. <laughs> <laughs> and then he comes back out, and he's totally loaded, and it's so funny. I heard that they asked him about that, I guess, like a TMZ camera, and he said that he thought was very funny on his way to oh, uh, see? a football well, there you go. You got, I mean, you know, you got to love the guy for rolling with the punches here. And also, what it's, did he admit and to he something And he did have new? prostitutes. Yes. Remember I called it last <laughs> week? I was like, <laughs> yep, I guarantee that there is going to be hookers or prostitutes involved in this because nobody, I said, does crack and gets <laughs> drunk as a politician <laughs> right. without hookers. You're like the mayor whisperer. And I yeah. just <laughs> about mayor. I know that there, I knew there'd be <laughs> prostitutes and sure enough. This, this last week and we found out there were prostitutes and then wasn't there also cocaine too he did like cocaine with um yes it says the report yeah. accuses the mayor of snoring cocaine abusing alcohol prescription pills as well as hanging out with prostitutes there you go so i'm so excited that mary I was right. get out there and run that what, <laughs> what are you waiting for it, and this I, guy's done like, i'll tell you like the one crazy go nuts guy in canada is the freaking mayor of the largest <laughs> city awesome. yeah. well his wife is standing behind him right now his cool. wife is still standing behind him because he buys her drugs yes that's right Who else is going to pay for that? We'll have more on the mayor of Toronto (laughs) and other great stuff here. I can't wait to ask Katie what she thinks. Yeah, absolutely. And she's joining us next. Katie Lohman, the beautiful. That's right. It is Politically Naughty with Mary Carey on TRadioV.com. In a sexual way, obviously. But yeah, so as you're denying yourself, you're inevitably thinking about, you know, oh, when I finally this get Catherine this thing Dubois. off, you know, I'm it's Stana like Catty. dieting. Hey, I'm Richard the Clerk. I'm Joel David Moore. Here I'm is Frank Infante. Hey, man, this is Richie Ramon. What's up out there? Radio and TV. CBGB. CBGB. Yeah. Check it out here. <laughs> Hey cats and kittens, Slim Jim Phantom here. You probably recognize me from my lifetime membership in the Stray Cats. That's me standing up playing the drums, providing the big beat. If you don't know it by now, the big beat is about rockabilly music. I'm going to play rockabilly music, I'm going to talk about rockabilly music, and I'm going to start out by playing all of the original favorites by all the original rockers. You got Elvis Presley, Carl Perkins, Johnny Cash, Eddie Cochran, Gene Vincent, Chuck Berry, Buddy Holly, Jerry Lee Lewis, Little Richard, the list goes on and on. One by each of those guys going to start out the show right here on T Radio V. Radio in TV. T Radio V. Radio in TV. Radio in TV. Do a job, we're gonna go up on these roofs. I got, I got excited. Yeah, you came out military, you all you know, <laughs> yeah. staggered out, man. I don't gloves, <laughs> on, gloves on, so he didn't leave any fingerprints. That's it. Gloves. We'll show the photos. That's one of my favorite photos, actually. You I took, took that, that one. Right. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Oh. <laughs> when Michael Keaton says you can get anywhere with a positive attitude and a clipboard. That's it. Well, we, we didn't even have the clipboard. We had him for Mission Impossible. He was uh, Tom Cruise's stunt double. <laughs> he was we were 69. Thought, I thought the old lady in the elevator. She's like, Policia. <laughs> <laughs> she spotted the Delta Bravo show Friday 7 to 9 p.m. on T Radio V. Radio V. So for those of you who don't know, this is Pepper. 
Hey, Pepper in the house. Yo, How are you, Pepper. How are you? Yeah, I noticed a new one, like insignia change, and like, is that intentional or is that just like a refresher? Oh, you mean the logo? It's I, I call it Sigma. I felt yeah. like I was like, oh, we're in Lord of the Rings right now. It really. Like, well, like, well, like, insignia. We have an insignia, people. Yeah. Yeah. To me, I thought it was like that new wave, like jazzy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that song. Speaking of which, we should all get that branded on us now because it's an insignia. Okay. The LA Music Blogcast, Thursdays at 8 p.m. only on T Radio V. T Radio V. Radio in TV. Radio in TV. Oh, yeah. We're back with Politically Naughty, <laughs> Mary Carey on TRadioV.com. <laughs> and we have our next guest. I know, Katie Lohan. Oh, my God. And look, look at, at her. Hair. her. <laughs> oh, love my it. God. And she's showing so boobs good. today. Oh. Because I'm not. Someone had to, Mary. I know, I know. So rocking Thank that God. outfit so you like today. It. Uh, yeah. Okay. I was, you know what? I was tired of being a blonde. I am a natural blonde. I've yeah. been blonde forever. And there, I mean, there's a little story as to why I dyed it. Oh yes, let's hear it. I, I actually I have a new manager, and he's oh. a real A-list manager. He's okay. got big time actor clients. Yes. And he's kind of just doing a favor for me, like, yeah. all right, I'm going to send you out and see if I can get you any work and get a buzz going about mm-hmm. you. He said, but you're not going to be a blonde when I do it. Mm-hmm. That's true. And I, I said, can what see do you that. What do you mean? And he said, I understand you have this big identity mm-hmm. as being a blonde. He said, but we're just going to wipe all of that out. And we're going to start all over again. Mm. I want you to look like a movie star. I don't want you to look like a true. playmate. That's true. And I thought, okay. all right, well, how am I going to accomplish that? How am I, yeah. you know? And he said, I, I want you to dye your hair, but I don't want you to be a brunette. He goes, I think that's boring. I want you to be yeah. a redhead. Mm-hmm. He said, we need another hot, smoking redhead to do film and television. I kind of agree with that. Yeah. So I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. 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 So yeah. I was Great. like, okay, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'm so I just did it. The outfit is amazing. And I bet you are your psychologist. <laughs> oh I forgot her name on L.A. Shrink. She would probably like this. You know, she probably would. You yeah. mean heiress? Yes. Yeah, she probably would. She'd probably say, you know, it's definitely a step in the right direction. Mm-hmm. I mean, maybe, you know, you'd be taken more seriously. But, you know, with her, it was always how to be taken seriously in a relationship, not so much in my career. Because yeah. I don't know that I would have taken career advice from her. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it from an A-list manager, but I wouldn't necessarily <laughs> take it from her. So, so. so, all right, you know, I, I just want to ask something real quick. and Because uh, you said, you know, about being taken more seriously. I mean, blonde jokes aside, is that's not really, that doesn't uh, really happen. I think, I think ladies, when you have blonde hair and big you know, when you when you, when you have blonde hair and big boobs and you're trying to get into commercials and you're trying to do stuff, they look at you and go, okay, you're very pretty, but you're kind of too pretty and you can't sell products to mainstream America if you've got the huge boobs and you've got the platinum hair. They just don't like, like it. Porn star. They don't, you know, they, yeah. they want you to be a little look bit like more Jessica, soft. Jessica has a good Jessica has look. a great look for commercials and stuff because <laughs> but it's I like still she's can't beautiful. Sell <laughs> <laughs> she's like, that's, that's ridiculous. Well, because Jessica is skinny there's, and has no... There's dozens has more baby car boobs. lines out like, there, Jessica. There's Jessica, dozens well, more Jessica cars. Jessica looks like a normal model. Like Jessica looks like a fashion model. You're, you're right. Thanks, I, mean, I think. You're, <laughs> actually, you're, you're naturally um, beautiful. Yeah. Oh, you, you no, need... No, you are. You're naturally beautiful. And the whole... I want to say something about your competition. Okay, I have to say this because I, me and Mary, we've been around a long time. <laughs> and wow. the, uh, no, we have been around we've the block seen, a couple times. We've seen, you know, oh, the, 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 we, we've been around a long no, time. No. And the thing is, is that this is just another thing to do until you get to where you're supposed to be. And it might not be with KTLA. It might be, you know, you might be working for Fox or you might be working for something even bigger, but oh, you're going to have this be as another experience. She's going to oh, be a CNN. She's going to be a CNN. I feel, I you feel a group hug coming on. You can't look at it like she on. lost because you didn't lose. You Absolutely. got up in what the top five? You said right, and so what? You got beat out by some guy. No one's gonna remember that guy anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and who watches I KTLA? I don't watch KTLA. I, I do. Yeah. I love KTLA. And I but you know, but them. you know what? You don't know that they. Yeah. When that's done, they might bring you back I and agree. say, yes. you know what? You weren't right for the project we were doing with Honda, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but yes. you're perfect for this project. That's why I'm so glad happen, that actually. we have you on camera to show our producers. Yes. So it's it's just one more step right, that you have right. to take, and and you can't worry about the backlash of it either because the higher up that you climb on the ladder in right. the entertainment industry the more shit you have to take <laughs> I, I, so well, I think she was the best and that's why people dog. are saying things because she was the best nicely said Katie jealous. well thank you for that yeah, uh, honestly I appreciate that it makes you you know what I mean like sometimes you just gotta yeah. kind of like have your you gotta people rally around from you your peers and, you gotta hear you know? from people who do the same thing that you do like when my mother tells me something I'm like 
mom, whatever. Mm-hmm. She doesn't do this. She doesn't mm-hmm. know the grind of it. Although so, my mom's pretty good uh, at being like, no, you're the <laughs> which is good which is probably what gave you the confidence to it, go it, and pursue this is because you know that your mom's got your back yeah and, you know love just you another stepping stone you know i mean it's tomorrow's another, another day yeah. all that sort i mean of i can't stuff. even tell you how many things i've been turned down yeah. for that i thought i was gonna katie, a- amen anyway katie i, I did want to ask you though about uh or if you were listening about the mayor what do you think of the uh, the toronto Have mayor you heard anything about him you know he's, i i saw a clip crap. of him yeah. really quick on tv and he just looks like a pervert <laughs> You know, he just so, looks like the kind of guy. Katie's just, not a big fan. He looks Should like we a pervert. Show yeah. the clip of the mayor. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's see. Let's he see. Looks we, like a speaking of a clip, I think well, we got the that clip. Okay. Um, oh, Olivia Gondek <laughs> says that I wanted to eat her pussy. Olivia Gondek. I've he looks never like said a perv. that in my life to her. I would never do that. I'm happily married. I've got more than enough to eat at home. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! God. See, more than enough to eat <laughs> at, yeah, at home. Prostitutes. See? It was, that was about. I think it was his um, assistant. Who was it? It was his. Um, you mean the person that ratted him out, or was it one maybe, of the girls? possibly? Yeah. I, you know what wow. though, I gotta say, it was a, a staffer alleged that he said he wanted to eat her pussy, and he said, "I don't want to eat the staffer's pussy. I have enough pussy at yeah, home, home, basically." Yeah. But yet he was, you know, he was called a prostitute. So obviously. He just didn't like the staff. Right? He yeah. just didn't like that particular. That was not. not <laughs> he had you know what? And and she she called them out. I don't she think with the out. prostitutes, he was probably right. eating them. He was just I, having sex with them. I think. You know? I, I think. Because usually guy, with the hookers, you don't do that with them. You just have sex and blowjobs. This this guy is so nutty. <laughs> I, I think he just wanted to have an awesome <laughs> soundbite. Yeah, there you go. See? I think he just, just wanted to have an awesome soundbite. You don't go down on hookers. He looks pretty dirty. Good advice. He looks like a dirty bird. Don't go down on hookers. But no, I mean, he's like, you know, like, I. I bet you he's like he's backstage and he's like I bet you a hundred bucks I can get out there in front of the press and say I he never ate her pussy and he's oh. like hey all right somebody owes it's me actually kind of crazy they aired the word pussy yeah on, I'm shocked yeah on the news I'm totally shocked yeah you, uh, they didn't bleep it right but right. Katie don't you think Mary ought to run for mayor instead I'm like go take <laughs> in over Toronto? like go take that over like <laughs> I don't yeah. I, I don't know about living in Canada it's too cold no it's too cold. Uh, it's this time. is about your career Mary it's yeah. about yeah. <laughs> I'm bringing you all with me. You could, you could this tough is it about out. you. This is about you. You could tough yeah. it out. You well, could tough it out. Let's see. I'll bring you guys with me then. You guys can all be different staff. You know, okay. I, I'll work for me. Oh, it's I, like the White House. We'll have all these dirty secrets. Yeah. On yeah. But we got, you guys will be like so much scandal. better though because we'll have like the sexiest. Stuff and I can't ever. remember. I, it's been such a long time since I've been to Toronto, but I think they have like that whole habit trail thing going on where they connect all the buildings with those little skywalks. So you, you like you don't have to go outside at all. No, I I had to go outside quite a bit. Did you mean like terminals? Airport, yeah, like like Des Moines terminals. does it, and Minnesota does huh. it. Like they just have like uh, I'm to remember. they have yeah. like these big <laughs> like skywalks. You can literally go to one side of the city to the other without going outside because of these little habit trail things that they have between I the buildings. I seem to miss all these trails. I was in Des Moines. Yeah. All I was, <laughs> it was June. Yeah, so, they, so, so yeah, didn't you, you, didn't, you didn't need the habit trail. I only trails. saw it by hotel, <laughs> strip club, yeah. hotel. Yeah. Club. That's all I'll do some it. more research for but next the, week's show on the Habit Trail. They only go from stri- strip club to strip club. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a trailer. Nice. You can walk in this tube and it's like... <laughs> if, you're, if you're looking for cheese at well, the end you know, of the maze. ATMs, he was a Toronto the mayor. The, you know, in Toronto, since he was the mayor, he probably yeah. did set up you know those little things for strip clubs. Right. Yeah, he should have. <laughs> <laughs> you know, since Jessica's leaving us yes. after this, and we're going to have Katie all alone. All, all oh Katie all day. That's not I would like to show the last Jessica clip. Yes. we got to see Jessica And then we're going to get into all Katie, but let's... Let's show the last Jessica Kinney clip. Okay. Oh. Thank you both. And here's your chance to say hi. Oh. Say hello oh, to the other everyone. girls. Oh, yay. Thanks, everyone. I'm available for the LA Auto Show if you need me. <laughs> 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 so, anyway. Thank you so much for everyone's support. I will see you on the big screen. That was beautiful. Hmm. Anyway, I just plug in myself there. Yeah. I like oh, Jessica the best. I, I want to take <laughs> yeah. Jessica to the Auto Jessica. Show. And then Are you we'll, guys going to go tomorrow? We're gonna go it's tomorrow, to, right? No, I don't. It starts uh, Friday. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gonna take her and and I'll say like, go to Honda and say, look what you guys lost out. I'm on. already talking to Honda right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even See? kidding. I'm going Honda now. See, so. there we go. Why don't you try a more expensive car? That might. Be <laughs> you know, like, you, Katie. like Mercedes, or why don't you represent <laughs> Bentley? I've only heard from Honda so <laughs> far. Box. I'm accepting other oh, offers. That's, yes. Ex- hey other everyone, offers. if you have an expensive car <laughs> dealership or anything, contact us for Jessica Kinney. I'd be happy to wake up in your Bugatti. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I wish play that song <laughs> oh i agree oh man that oh would be man 
Aww. Well, this is this has been a fun show. This is I know. Right. It's I, always I, fun. Yeah, I have fun. I'm I only know. there twice. <laughs> <laughs> I have fun. And Katie looks beautiful. And, and yeah, we got we got you. I got four beautiful women here, and and Wait, I just we just have to make sure Katie sidekick. changes her hair every time. Like, oh my god! Well, no, no. Don't fall out. I know. She comes in a little blonde wig bob thing. Well, maybe you could do the wig. That would be really hot. I have trouble with wigs. My hair doesn't. You know, they give me headaches. I've tried. I have had to, you know, wear them for stuff, but they just they. They squish your brain. I think you look, am- <laughs> I think you look amazing. I think you and look. And they, they I think tighten you look- your ears when yeah. you have wigs on. Your ears. And it just gives me such a head. It actually makes me dizzy, like where I want to throw up mm. when I put wigs on. Because I, I remember I have this wig to be Elvis for Halloween. Great wig. Oh, that's cool. Looks just like his hair. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So Elvis. And it just God, it gives me such a headache. I want to puke. <laughs> 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 well, I think you look better than you ever have. This this is an amazing. You. Yes, it looks. You look great. Uh, do you want me to talk about uh, the Obamas now, or um, do you, you know want to I was going to ask. I have a few, you know, tweet questions oh, for Katie. That okay. I ask. Oh, okay. 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 Are these coming from people, or are they coming? Yes. Right. I want to ask you. See, Chuck. Okay. Chuck is one of our, you know, loyal. Shout out to Chuck. We love him. Loyal, loyalist. I saw yeah. that. I saw Chuck. We love Chuck. Chuck. Have you guys, do you guys really? Do you know who he is? Do you have you um, met I him? I just talked to him on Twitter. Twitter oh, okay. All right. Very so. big Twitter friend. And he was, he's super supportive of the show. He loves Jessica's hair. I've seen. Man, he uh, he is on top of things. Stuff. He is on top He's of the man. things. He updates yeah. us on Cinemax movies. He's very big. He's very big. You know, we met him through Erica Jordan when we had Erica Jordan, and he started watching the show. Yeah, and then that just how takes he, that one person, yes. and then it you know I, grows from a, there. It was one night last week. I was. Uh, at home, and I think I probably had a bottle of wine or something like oh, that. Of and course I got you on, did, David. No got, on, got on Twitter, and and I started just saying because I don't get on Twitter a lot. I, I really need don't. To get on more. No, I, I know, do. I know. And and I I quoted something, and I said gold star for whoever gets what, where this quote came from. <laughs> Chuck. Chuck got nice. it. And not only not <laughs> only did he do that, but then he he YouTubed a clip from what, where <laughs> the show cute. was from. Yeah. Um, and I was just like, oh my god, he's genius. <laughs> he knows a lot. He's very smart. So, geez. Chuck has two questions for Katie. Okay. okay. One is, have you ever been photographed or uh, have you ever been photographed by Lisa Boyle? No. Do you mm. know who she is? I've I heard, heard of her. her too. I Isn't think she's she a newer photographer. I don't know if she's newer, but. I've heard. No, I actually heard of her uh, a few her. years ago. Yeah. Was she the one that she used to be a model? And I then think she, she started did. doing photography. I think that's what she might have yeah. been. Yeah. I mean, the answer is you know no. What? <laughs> Chuck, Chuck, please, if you were watching, was if you Lisa Boyle well, a model? Can you give us, us an update? Yes. And he also wants to know who's your favorite photographer to work with. Oh, my favorite. Oh, oh gosh. Um, daily Celeb Day. I was <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to read this. That's a hard question to answer no. because you don't want to make you, can name you don't it like a couple of your favorites. You know whose photos I, I actually really like? Um, she's a female photographer. Her name is Raquel Richard. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And she was a model for many years. And her the pictures that she did of me, which I want her to shoot me again now that I'm a redhead, but mm-hmm. the pictures that she did of me were just amazing. I mean, yeah. she's so good. And being a model herself, she knows exactly how to pose you. I mean, she's got the boobs. She's got the hair. She's She's got all of it, and she is so talented at photography. So, Man. Raquel I love Rashard shooting with is females my too. Female I don't shoot with them that. Much. I don't oh, get to very great. often. Oh, yeah, I, I don't that. get to that much. But I don't always like shooting with females. Really? I don't know why. You'd like shooting with Raquel, and yeah. the thing about Raquel is, is when she's shooting you, she kind of has like this tomboy thing about her, mm-hmm. and she's telling you how beautiful you are and all that, and it's it's sincere. She just she kind of has like a a, a tomboy thing. Oh, cool. Jessica's oh. on. Hey, jam's on. That's it. <laughs> That's right. Call me. I'll be in your Bugatti. <laughs> <laughs> LA Auto Show, what's up? Jessica, Get we will. Back at Do Jessica they have Kinney. those there? Yeah. <laughs> 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 they Do they? Th- I'm sure they have everything. We'll be right back. And with more questions for Katie. M- for more One Katie from David Gerard. We'll see after you very this. soon, right. Jessica. Jessica, Jessica we're going to miss you. Guys. Katie oh, Loban's yes. still with us. We'll be right back with more Politically Naughty with Mary Carey on <laughs> TRadioV.com. <laughs> Radio V. Unloaded is a show about love, sex, celebrity, the extremity of individuality, entertainment, and all the other crap that we like to talk about. Oh, sorry, I said it crap. is not I said crap. crap. Elevate. 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 Elevate your mind. I get unloaded right in the brain. Yes. yes. If I was a boy, I'd take a bite out of you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sorry. You're take in the creepy Eddie. spot. Yeah, it's no longer unloaded. Now it's uncomfortable. Yes. <laughs> unloaded with Destin and Rachel. Thursdays at 4 p.m. on T-Radio V. 
Yo, what's up? This is your boy Kyle Mass, and you're checking out T Radio V. T Radio V. T Radio V. Hello, T Radio V. Love you guys. Radio in TV. Radio V. Bill Gates wants to pay you $100,000 to build a condom that feels good. I invented a tampon. <laughs> You'd rather get AIDS than uh, get a girl pregnant? <laughs> it is close. I'd certainly rather get a curable STD. When I eat glass, I when I'll, yeah, I eat light bulbs and stuff. Yeah, I used to think any woman who had a big dog got that dog specifically to have sex with it. It's the Obscene Stirs. Mondays at 7 p.m. on T Radio V LA. I'm okay. reeling. Okay. I'm reeling right now. That was amazing. And it's uh, Mary Carey, of course, politically naughty with Mary Carey. I'm always naughty. I'm always politically. My behavior is always politically, politically naughty. naughty. I'm never politically correct. I'm Dr. Dr. Drew, Drew hi. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. It's all I'm... teary-eyed, doctor. I know. She wishes she could live at rehab. <laughs> but only if Dr. Drew's there. Obviously, sure. if someone like, you know, is a little too groping might be inappropriate. But I like the flirting. Well, and when I, I, when I, I walked in, you shoved my head in your no! Are you going to sue me? <laughs> Get Politically Naughty with Mary Carey. Mondays at 4 p.m. on T-Radio V. T-Radio V. We call it Dark Matter with Dave Navarro. It's not like Amanda Joe or it's just Joe? Oh, it's just Joe with a dash after it. Really? That's very, very strange. Oh. Joe Dash? Are you the oh. facts of life, Joe? Are you the spawn of Down Syndrome parents? <laughs> <laughs> J-O Dash? I think that we should all, for the rest of the show, add a dash to the ends of our names. So, so, so she doesn't dash. feel bad. Dan Dash, yes. Just Dash, Dodd Dash, Dave Dash, Joe Dash. It's Dark Matter with Dave Navarro. Wednesdays at 9 p.m. on T Radio V. T Radio V. Radio in TV. Radio in TV. And we are back, politically naughty on tradiov.com with the always naughty Mary Carey. Always, oh, yeah. I dance on stage to this song. If you like this song, do you know what it is? It's called "Bad Bad Girlfriend" by Theory of a Dead Man. It's yeah, a great yeah. song. No, I, I definitely you, heard you it. You introduced me to this song. I know. I, I introduce I, you to yep. songs all the time. Yeah, it's awesome. My stripper song. Yes, yes. But. So uh, we're back with Katie. And we are. Uh, did Hi. you have some Katie? Hi. It's good to see you. <laughs> I know we have her alone now. Yeah, Teresa McKady. That's right. Uh, now you have a redhead and a blonde. I, I was oh, I know. Blonde. And you, you got go. big boobs on both. You know. the, you're, you, there'd be so much tits going on. Uh, Dave, could you, you handle it? You wouldn't much. be able to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you would not be able to breathe. <laughs> that's like saying you have too much money. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have too much. <laughs> what are you talking about? Too much. Although tits? the new thing these days is, have you noticed girls are all getting their butts done? Like I have a real butt. I'm I so know. tired of people saying it's fake and, and this and that. I've been it's trying to get my butt bigger. It's not happening. I'm you know, it's it's it hereditary. Is, it it is. It's yeah. a hereditary thing. Yeah. I mean, the shape of your butt and your height and all these things. I mean, well, it's genetics. Yeah. I mean, I've don't always discourage had, me. No, I've, no, no. I've always had a kind of a round butt. There you and go. you know what? When I gain weight, it gets bigger. When I lose weight, it gets smaller, and it's 100% real. There you go. Well, when I gain weight, Fantastic. my stomach gets bigger. <laughs> when I lose weight, my stomach gets smaller, <laughs> and my butt just stays the same. <laughs> but I'm trying. I'm in the gym. I'm, like, climbing the stairs. I mean, there are workouts yes. to definitely improve the muscles in It's that improving area. really slowly. <laughs> Dave, I'm always like, Dave, is it getting bigger? And it gets maybe this much bigger. Because having a bigger like, butt is not about gaining uh, weight. Right. It's about working a certain area yeah to, well and you know, one of the best in, uh, little infomercials on sunday morning is that brazilian workout commercial oh my Nothing's god helping my butt <laughs> i don't know do. why they have brazilian it's, workout it, stuff because all the most of the girls from brazil have well, the yeah, shot right. butt. well i guess well, no, you know why because they, they get the shots you. they get the they shots get, i don't do any of that stuff and, and they get a lot of them getting the illegal shots like when i was in miami at this club that sounds terrible they're getting illegal shots they get them done by like trannies or by um by um no, they That's do. Or really they get them awful. done. No. <laughs> and I, I I love. Ladies, like, ladies, and you know ladies. What, you know who else has a real butt? Who? That everybody says is fake is Coco, Ice-T's wife. No, I have a known, lot of girls have great real butts. I have butts. known Coco for since like the late 90s. We're both yeah. from Arizona. Yeah. And she's had that same nice round ass. <laughs> And everybody always talks shit saying I, that it's fake. And I'm like, no, Coco's ass is real. No, there's this a lot of girls with great real butts. But no one ever but thinks it's real, like no. Kim Kardashian. I'm her butt's real. 
I'm Why completely jazzed. Shit? I have just two no hotties talking on about that's ladies' that's socks. Yeah, 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 I have no comments on But All I know is my butt is real and yes. it's not very big and I'm <laughs> trying to get it bigger. However, mine but is totally fake. I know the totally girls fake. in the Miami and yours is totally <laughs> Oh, your butt's <laughs> fake? Yeah, my, I, the girl, really? I got, yeah, I got implants back in the 80s. I don't know. You I know, guys used fun. to get peck implants oh, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. you know, and, and sure, uh, sure. like leg calf implants yep. and stuff. And there you go. Oh, I that, her butt is 100% Thank you. real. I'm in love with her. She's be, And she's one of the <sighs> nicest girls. You I know, I don't think she it's likes me. I, she we hasn't have, met She doesn't me. hate on anybody, No, I swear. but we have mutual friends who've like tried to like, you know, see, I don't know, I just don't think she no, likes me. No, she's, so, she's really I don't think she sweet. likes maybe that I did porn. I don't know. I don't think she cares. I Honestly, she's, she's really I'm sweet. sure. Do you have some more questions for Katie? Oh, yes. We do have okay. another Twitter question. Yeah, some more Twitter okay. questions. David Gerard yes. okay. wants to know. Hold on. Sorry, I was looking. Chuck sent me the artwork. Yeah, I know. Cinemax Chuck, he's movies, so on so top got, of it. He, get, he always finds out my Cinemax box covers before. Well, if it wasn't for him, I would never know what my box cover is. I yeah. don't know right, how, or if you're in a I magazine or something. Right. And, yeah. and it's great when fans will tell you. Like, he finds out. You know, oh, you're nuts, in this or you're in that. He sent it to me. Like awesome nuts. David Gerard says, hi, Katie. Hi. I was wondering, did you like the psychologist on L.A. Shrinks? Um, you know, I didn't hate her. Um, I didn't agree with her, but yeah. it, I didn't necessarily dislike her. I just didn't, didn't agree eye with eye. some of the things that she had to say. Gotcha. So I, I agree good. with that because we discussed I, that last show. David Gerard, we discussed that last show. <laughs> I just didn't agree <laughs> with her. I mean, do I like her as a person? You know, I only saw her in the room when we yeah. were doing the therapy so i don't know is she fun to go out with is she fun to go shopping with i don't know i, don't I say know no her. i wouldn't want to i wouldn't want to hang out with that lady no. i don't know her on that and level and so. i am completely clueless i, I watched, never watched i watched the shows and, only because yeah. I, I actually would like fast i fast forwarded just to watch katie's parts and then my friend well dave edwards would come over and then we would eat lunch. And I'm like, "Want to see Katie's parts?" And we watch Katie's parts because he didn't have like I don't know if he, I don't think he, he doesn't really watch any of that stuff. No. But yet he's always but he I always have knows it. what's going on. Yeah. You know, because well, he's right in the yeah. mecca of the industry of who's dating who before we even hear about it. So there and I go. would record the shows and show him. So I would be like, "Here's That's Katie's nice. parts." Yeah. So I would show him your parts for him. And we would, we would watch them a couple times in a row sometimes. Because sometimes we thought they were funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm so glad. You guys were amused. Well, well you know, and, and I'm sorry. We, I want to get back to a little bit of something we were, you were talking about earlier. The, yeah. the, the new look, the red hat. You said you had new representation. I'm not yeah. going to ask names or anything like that. But is something cooking in the future that you I can talk to, about? Well, I, well, the thing of it is, is that once I only changed the hair not that long ago. Yeah. Yeah. And then after you do that, you have to get new headshots. Well, sure, sure. Of course. He can't send you out as a redhead yeah. or as blonde, a blonde. Yeah. He's got to send me out as a redhead. Sure. So um, I wanted to make sure that I could shoot with someone that I've been wanting okay. to shoot with yeah. who does really great headshots. His name is Jeff. Mm -hmm. And so I kind of waited until he wasn't busy yeah. and got the headshots that I really wanted. So this is this exciting. is still just in the... It's still in the works. Yes, yeah, okay. I just recently picked the pictures that I want to use. Mm -hmm. And of course, I... I picked one and my manager picked one and they're totally different. <laughs> you know, but, I know, um, I always pick them. But I'm going to go with, you know, what he wants. Yeah. So that's really exciting. That's very I really cool. like I'm the excited. idea of that. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited. I, I'm excited to see. Now, as far as like people. Yeah, I was going to do people treat. Because I was telling her about how Brandy C, you know, we've had her on. Yeah. Said that when she dyed her hair brown, right? Uh, like she would go to Best Buy and ask for help, and people weren't as nice. And she just noticed that like people weren't as friendly to her when she was a brunette no versus kidding. a blonde. No kidding. And I've always thought that you know, because I had brown hair, yeah. I made it blonde. I think people are much nicer when, when you're blonde. Really, um, so. Katie? What do you think? You know, but she's I, like really sexy and sultry looking. When so I, I like still go nice. out, honestly, you know, uh -huh. to go shopping or go to Best Buy or any of those places. I never have any makeup on. Me neither. Unless I look like a bum. I, I look, look homeless. Yeah, I, I don't. <laughs> I don't look very, you know, glam when I'm going shopping or right. doing any of that stuff. I don't really see a difference. Yeah, I was. And as far either. as you know, guys being obnoxious or whistling or hitting on me or anything, um, it's the same. Yeah, yeah. it's actually because when you're done up, you look like this, and then when you're normal, like I mean, I know when I run errands, I'm in like juicy sweats yeah, and a hat yeah, and sunglasses, and, your and hair pulled back my hair is pretty gross. Yeah. You know, I, I go to the gym like no, I'm sure I smell really bad. <laughs> I feel like I'm. A, I don't know. I don't wear like sexy outfits to the gym. I I, I don't want to be bothered when I'm out, you know, shopping yeah. sure. or trying to get stuff done or at the grocery store. Yeah. I don't. I just, I just don't want to be bothered. Yeah. Right. So I, I I'm just cute. very casual, and I haven't noticed anybody acting different or nicer or anything. Yeah. You know. What would you do think? An experiment. What would you think, think of me know? as a blonde? Um. No. See. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I like that you look like Superman. Yeah. Oh my god, I just oh, watched. I just Man watched. Of Steel. I just, I just watched that I love for it. the yeah. first time, like a week ago. For the first time. Uh huh. Oh, is that great? I'm yet. such a big Superman. Me fan. too. I am now. I love it. I I've it always been way back. You know I when Christopher it. Reeves yes. was was. Did you see any of the original movies? You know what? When I was like a very little kid, watch him again. I should. He's very sexy. Christopher Reeves. I had a crush on you. Guy was really good. But you know what? I was very confused by. He's British. What this guy? Yeah, <laughs> that didn't confuse me. Man. What I was confused by is I thought in the, that Lois Lane never knew that Clark Kent was Superman. They, that's true. But this one, it looked like she's gonna know a new one that's gonna come out. No, well, yeah, they, no. no, they always. There's always these different storylines. They, story lines twist they find, it. yeah. They, now yeah. she's gonna know that that he like when it looks like he's gonna work at the newspaper. Right. And Lois Lane's gonna know. Well, here's the thing: if you watch some of the older movies, believe it or not. Superman actually has the power to make Lois Lane forget things. Uh, Do you remember I, that? Yeah, that there, that to me was a little bit of a stretch. That was yeah. a, that but was it's super, a stretch that yes. he wears glasses and you don't know it's Superman. <laughs> that's an effing stretch. You know, point you taken, don't know it's him. Taken, Come on, taken, that's okay. like you know. Point well I don't know who you are because you're wearing glasses. <laughs> I'll, I'll take, I'll, I'll <laughs> you know, I was just talking about that Mario S- yesterday. Superman two though was the best out of the those first three. Superman two that was the best of them. The first I, three, you yeah. mean the Christopher like, Reeve ones? Yes, I think yes. better. Four. Are they well, better well, than yeah, that's, yeah, that's right. There was, actually, I think there was five. Was there five? I think. I think but, there was four. <laughs> well, no, you're right. The New Hope was the last one. Um, Are they really good? Ch- Chance for Peace was the last one. I think the you're last right. one yeah. had the sun guy in it. Yes. The guy that, that, that was Luthor. part sun. That Luthor. That yeah. Luthor, <laughs> yes. <creative. laughs> See, I need to watch, watch these. Them. Should yeah. I watch yeah. them? You yes. should watch no, the I should. I mean, one. I just watched Star Wars for the first time last year, so See? I should probably. It must look so corny for seeing that for the first time. Well, I watched the new. It's not the 70s. I watched the new Star Wars first, and then the old ones. We should. So I like. You know what we should do? We should watch Logan's Run together. I've never seen that. (laughs) I've I've wait. Will I like? Will I like the old Superman? Yes, you will. Was it as good as Man of Steel though? Yes. Um, it's different. It's it's obviously it's an older film, so you have to take that in consideration that the flying is not going to look as real, or some of the the effects are not going to look. It doesn't even change in like a phone booth. Uh, Yeah, how are they? Yeah, I mean, still great effects. They look pretty damn good. They were shot in the late seventies all the way through the 80s. And I, and I think if, if you remember the movie poster for the first one, it, it did say, you will believe a man can fly. He's, that was, I mean, he's that just was... really, I don't know, to me, Christopher Reeve is always going to be yeah, sad. Absolutely. I because absolutely. the new Superman, yes, he's sexy and this and he's that. He's really but, muscly. But what bothers me about him is he's British and he, <laughs> he has an accent and he had to lose the accent in order to play Superman. So it's just kind yeah. of when I see him, I think yeah. of the Tudors. You know, this, I think of was he wearing colored contacts to have Superman's no, eyes? No, he okay, has good. blue eyes. This has been That's a good. very, very interesting, interesting politically. <laughs> politically okay, we're gonna have to go back to <laughs> politics we'll, we'll, and news. We'll go the back to thing. news. Tell us about minute. Obama after this. I will. We come back. We'll be right back with politically <laughs> naughty Mary Carey on tradio.com. <laughs> We're here to talk about his brand new show, Spellmageddon. Typically, our contestants are like, you know, people who should be able to right, spell. They're smart. They're smart already. These are the tightest freaking goggles <laughs> ever. We give them words that they should be able to spell, except we distract them with some insane distraction. P L E A S E. Refuse. All right. Great Generation TV, Thursdays at noon on T Radio V. This is Soledad O'Brien. Yo, what's up, y'all? It's Nick Cannon. Hey, everybody. It's your girl, Linnell. Hi, I'm Daphne Williams, and you're loving it on T Radio V. T Radio V. T Radio V. Let's get it. Radio V. T Radio V. So for those of you who don't know, this is Pepper. Hey, Pepper's in the house. Yo. How are you, Pepper? How are you? Yeah, I noticed a new one, like, insignia change, and, like, is that intentional, or is that just, like, a refresher? Oh, you mean yeah. the logo? I, like I called it Insignia. 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 I felt yeah. like I was like, oh, we're in Lord of the Rings right now. It really? <laughs> well, like, well, like, Insignia. We have an Insignia, people. Yeah. Yeah. I, thought, I thought it was like that new wave, like, jazzy. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that song. Speaking of which, we should all get that branded on us now because it's insane. Okay. The LA Music Blogcast, Thursdays at 8 p.m. only on T Radio V. 
Radio V. Well, last week we had Andre Royal, who was an awesome guest. He told so us some really ever. interesting stuff about yeah. The Wire. Um, Dev told him that he's never really watched The Wire, which, which was, was really awful. awful. And it wasn't like, awful at Just all. a terrible thing to tell just him. Just Can you imagine person. if like yeah, people mean. showed up on Letterman or Leno, and he was like, you know, I didn't really watch this. No, people it. say it's the greatest television Can you imagine if that happened, Jeff? Imagine if I give you a knuckle sandwich right now. A knuckle sandwich? Whoa! Let's get digital. Wednesday, 6 p.m. on T Radio V. T Radio V. Radio in TV. Radio in TV. We're back. We're back. Politically naughty with uh, Mary Carey on T Radio V dot com. And uh, so um, I wanted to talk about this just a little bit because, um, you know, Mary and I, we kind of communicate, especially over the weekend, about what we're going to talk about and stuff oh, like that. And I always good about communicating. Yeah, we're your neighbors, and, no, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but, you know, yeah, we haven't seen each other. I know, much, I, I haven't. So uh, I was coming uh, coming home this morning, yes. and uh, I heard just this little blurb about mm-hmm. the Obamas going to a basketball game and getting booed. And that's all. I mean, I, I was half listening and stuff like that. So... Wanted to do a little research, and it really isn't that much of a story. Oh, okay. uh, but, but it's but, true. Well, yes. So, but, okay. but, but okay. let me let me tell you how I went through this, and then I think the real story here is how different news sources report things differently. Oh, yeah. we don't have to go there. So, I right? mean, look what you know Tom Cruise is going through with reporting oh, about right, right. abandonment and all that. He didn't abandon his daughter. He was no. working on a big movie. I mean, come on, people. Exactly. Really? So uh, he I, and I guess this is kind of a family tradition with them. They go and see, watch some college basketball, and uh, they were watching. Watching Oregon State against uh, University of Maryland. Uh, Oregon win, won, okay. by the way, incidentally. So, you know, like most of the websites are just like, he was met with cheers and some booze. And that's like what, like the first three websites. Yeah. So I go to a particular website um, that has a big news Tell network us. Fox. Okay. I went to Fox. And what did they uh, say? Because Fox, Fox is very different. Because Re- they're very Republican. Fox said, Obama booed at basketball uh, game. See. End of sentence. That was it. That see, was and, <laughs> and, and you know what, what What those media outlets try to do, too, is they try to, because um, I've been kind of following what's going on with the Tom Cruise thing. Yeah. And what they do is they put something out there, and they want the people to come to their own conclusions of what it means that they're trying to say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's how they cover themselves. Like, kind of like covering their ass. Like, <laughs> well, that's go. not exactly how we meant right, it. Right, right. But, but the audience took it that way. Exactly, and, exactly. You know. And it's it's funny that you say covering ass because I do have uh, Dave's Naughty News right now. Uh, Dave, and Dave's if we could roll. <laughs> and nice. Yeah. And it is a nice segue. So here's the segue. Uh, since you said covering ass, uh, there is a <laughs> <laughs> there is a doctor, Dr. Benjamin Locke, L O K. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, that has developed a truly remarkable uh, robotic ass. Oh, so, maybe that's what I should robotic get. Robotic ass. <laughs> yes. what, can they come in big sizes and, so well, I have a big butt? This he he uh-huh. is. So he calls it Patrick, and it is for students. He named it. Yes, this is for students to I want a picture of uh, practice doing prostate exams. Oh, I thought you were going to say pra- practice like <laughs> okay. No, this is medical students. So this it's is this like is for a medical. Made of like latex or something. Yeah, and, and he actually has it. He actually has it uh, tied to a simulator uh, that uh-huh. uh, goes to. Oh, uh, is that? That's the oh, hand. that's the hand. That's the I want special. Yeah. That's the special glove. Show, right. <laughs> you know, I actually they used to have a Mary Carey pussy and ass yeah. mold. I, you know, yeah. I actually, they, I actually was thought it really of it. yours? Yeah, like, they molded it. Did they? It wasn't set my full butt a... cheeks. It was my, just my vagina and a little bit of my butt. Cheeks. Yeah. Uh, so like you know, they molded it. Basically, that's cool. it, it is this. This uh, ass has sensors in it to say, and the guy on the screen will say, "Ooh, too hard." Ooh, wait, wait. And uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. he's really serious. Wait, when you get a Prostate exam, they stick your fingers in, in your, their ass. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. They do it for men. They, they you know, to, to men need to see this to so they the can see how painful anal sex is. They need to check. Uh huh. <laughs> they need to check their. Well, some men know what anal sex feels that's like. That's true. Today. That's true. That's true. Now it's kind of a. I know, it, like it's anal kind sex. of a cyber theme, naughty news, because going from the uh, the robotic ass to a robotic hand job, and of course, this comes oh, out of no. nowhere, but China. They always do the weird things over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, Those uh, Chinese are dirty birds. It's uh, <laughs> the, the, the virtual reality. You put on a helmet, and of course, it's this little anime girl 
that's going to no town way. on you. And oh my. Uh, yeah, I think if you scroll down, there you go. There's the Whoa. little robot arm going to town. Oh my god! <laughs> but your dick's not out. <laughs> well, I think he he's doing this in a public Just forum. A, so, but would that thing grab your wee wee? I think it, uh, I think you yes, have to do that. And squeeze it. Yes. So, yeah. So that is, and that's such a lovely gift right there, isn't that a nice? Maybe did. Would you like that for Christmas? <laughs> 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 do you want a Chinese hand job? The, the future, uh, the from future, an anime. The from an future anime. is here. <laughs> The future I'll just is get here. you a gift certificate to like a Chinese massage parlor. <laughs> <laughs> even uh, better. Asian massage parlor. Even, even better. Uh, uh, and then uh, I have one last thing here. Um, fashion has finally come to the male chastity belt. Oh. I've seen those. Yes. And uh, so now yeah. uh, you have the camouflage. Newer, <laughs> <laughs> you hey, have camouflage. you know, it's like... A skateboard. They I want got, designs on it. I gotta say, the wood grain one actually uh, it looks pretty sharp. Do you think I, guys? Would <laughs> really that looks scary. <laughs> looks pretty. So sharp. like, you t- a woman would tell her husband, like, I don't trust you. Or if you go into a strip club, baby, I'm locking it up. See, oh well, I mean, I, I think that was. You the can e- go to the strip club, I, but I'm locking it in before you go. <laughs> right. So nothing's gonna. Nothing's happen. happening in that champagne room. I, I think. <laughs> I think that was the original attention. You know what? Uh, intention. I say that's a good idea for like if a husband's getting married, be like, you can go to your bachelor <laughs> party, but only if you're wearing this. Right. No, you guys understand. I had a boyfriend, right? Mm-hmm. He's a musician, not like a really, really well-known one, but but he enough had that one needed, of those. yeah, a bachelor party or a chastity belt. A chastity belt. Okay. Yeah. And and what he would do is he would say, you know, I don't I don't want my penis to get hard for a while, so I'm going to put this on and torture myself. And I'm thinking, God, you are so weird. Wow. Trust so, that relationship wait, you can't get hard. You can't get hard when you wear it, this? Well, well I, I mean, I think you can only go so far. It would, whatever his was, <laughs> it right. would prevent him from getting so that, an erection. Okay. And that was the tortured part of it. Right. Was well, and, I, and I think that's what most ooh. of them are for now. Because, like, again, the original design was to keep... You know, fidelity. You know, uh, and there was the female chastity belt. So for the women, what is it? it so does no, it I keep you from getting horny. No, it just you, covers your. So you can't have sex. Vagina, so you can't do I mean, anything. You can't really the men's have sex one with that sounds thing. painful. Though. It's yeah. scary. Trust me, because I've seen it. I mean, this guy was just. But I think that's then. Now know, it's now it's the whole fetish thing. Right now, it's no, just. That's it's what he was just, into. He here, was into you, that. You keep the key. And now, yeah. you know, and, and when you say it's okay. For me to have yes, an erection. Yes, yes. That's, so I think oh. that's what the whole, that's what the whole well, thing is Well, I think it would just be good for women to use for, like, a husband's going to bachelor party. <laughs> <laughs> or strip clubs. Or strip if you don't clubs. trust them. Because right. I work, you know, I've done a lot of appearances in the strip clubs. Yeah. So. I don't advise. Well, you know, I don't know. Like I said, saying I, your husband is there unattended. I gotta say, <laughs> <laughs> wink. Uh, unattended. That's great. <laughs> Always not the, a good idea. Uh, like I said, uh, this has never been something that's really appealed to me in the past. However, I really like the look of that wood grain. That looks. You want that, neighbor Dave? <laughs> no. no, Christmas is For coming up. For a fetish up. thing. I don't know. I'll put it on display it, it, somewhere. It's actually pretty scary looking when you see it in person. Really? Yeah. It doesn't look comfortable. It's pretty. Yeah. No. I mean, it's I might get one from Mario. And you, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And you can, I'm just kidding. And you can. Well, and, and is of it course, expensive? You can still do. Yeah. How uh, much is it? Do we know? I think it starts at 150 bucks. Oh, very okay. It's a yeah. little pricey. Yeah. Um. And uh, and of course, it looks like uh you can still you know do bodily functions out of it, so you don't have like to worry pee? about that. How yeah. do you pee through a chest? I belt? think there's a, That's a good question. there's a hole. There's a hole. Ooh, there's a little slit that I'm looking at right now. Yeah. <laughs> how do the, the women? Chastity. I wonder how the, the women. Male chastity belt. I'm looking. I wonder at. how the women pee. What if they have their period? How do you? Oh, things? that sounds terrible. You know, uh, I, think, I think you're getting into a very big. You know, we should we should probably have somebody on the one. show. We should have. Yeah, chat. We maybe should. I could have Dr. Kerner back about this. We should have somebody on the show that does a demonstration. A doctor or or a, a demonstration. BDS, yeah, a demonstration. Yeah, BDSM. How does this work person. exactly? You know what? That's true. I should find a fetish. I'm sure I know a fetish girl. Oh, sure. I'm sure you do. That's it. Oh, I gotta say real quick. It's my cousin David in Ohio's birthday today. Oh, happy, happy birthday, birthday, David. Happy always, birthday, David. I always love David's comments on Twitter. Cousin David. So, yes. Yeah. What did I say? I know. I just call him okay, Cousin David. Right. Listen, guys, thanks so much. It's been great. Thank you, Thank Katie. Thank you, guys. Hello, Jessica, Mike, we producer love you. Dave, Mario, Alberto, <laughs> and Jackie and Kyle that have been doing an incredible job behind I the know, booth today. I love them. We will be back next week with more Politically Naughty Mary Carey on TRadioV.com. Thank you guys so much for listening Thanks and watching. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You are watching T-Radio V, radio and TV.